What's up, Gemini's gang, 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 gang? Thank you guys for clicking on that thumbnail and seeing what this reading talking about. This will be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, check your North Node and your Jupiter. Also, check what signs in your seventh house and what house your Venus and your Sun in is in, particularly your Venus. I said that right? Yeah, I said that right. Okay, and then my email is in my description box for you guys to email me any type of spiritual questions, concerns, topics that y'all want talked about. And I will talk about these topics that I have already uh, when I get to a thousand subscribers and y'all been putting in that work. Okay, and I start going live, doing live readings, hopping on here, talking to y'all and all that good stuff, you know. And, um, yeah, also my Etsy's in the description box. Um, yeah. <sighs> For short readings. The reading, I don't know. I have Gemini Sun, Mercury, Venus, and Chiron. Um, all in the ninth house. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm a Gemini, Gemini, okay? So, um, while I was shuffling, I'm using a few decks today. While I was shuffling, cards went everywhere. So I don't know if someone is in your energy, is kind of doing the most, we gonna see. But what popped out was the Ten of Pentacles. So I just thought I'd let y'all know that. Um, do I want to start with Love Oracle? Or let's start with Love Oracle. Let's switch it up a little bit today. Let's start with that and then we'll go into a, re a reading. Spirit, give me the energy for Gemini. Okay, um, let me turn them over. All right, free yourself. I'll show y'all in a minute. I'm gonna get a few chemistry. Spirit, give me the energy for Gemini. What's coming towards Gemini in love? Ooh, what's coming towards Gemini in love? What's coming towards Gemini in love? What's coming towards Gemini in love? Y'all, when I tell you, when I was shuffling cards, cards went everywhere. I was like, I almost didn't even want to do the reading after that. <laughs> I was like, what is good? Okay, that's all Spirit wants to give us. All right. So we got free yourself. And it's time to take back control of your life. Absolutely. Then we got engagement. Mm. Your love life is ascending to a higher commitment. Uh, uh. And then we got chemistry. And there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Absolutely. All right. So let's get started on the reading. I'm going to use my, um, this is my easy tarot deck. This is, I got this deck a long time ago. Um, a friend of mine ordered it for me when I first started doing tarot because I actually used to read with playing cards. So when I first started learning how to do tarot, a friend of mine got me this deck. Even though I know the tarot already, it's like, you know how you know how us Gemini Gemini's are. We get we get like nostalgic with certain things that certain people buy for us. So it's all beat up and stuff. Anyways, let me get off my soapbox. Five of Wands, clarifying the, the free yourself. Yeah, you need to free yourself from whatever conflict is going on. You probably have a fire sign in your life that is doing the absolute most. And they need to be uh, axed. Okay? So we got Justice here. And we got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so... um. King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right, so I feel like with this under the Five of Wands, somebody may want to come in and make things right with you, but they're doing it very slow. They're going to be very, very slowly. This person might move, uh, not might not move in a way that that you want to move. This can also be you slowly getting over someone. You might be slowly moving on. Spirit, clarify this engagement. Oh, that was a perfect, 
perfect, perfect, perfect. The four of wands came out to clarify an engagement card. Listen, Gemini's, regardless of who this conflict is over here, whoever this fire sign is, I don't know. We're going to go further and see what happens. But, uh, Larella, um, y'all going to have a connection real soon. Okay. So they clarify this four of wands under this engagement card. Oh, see, what is with y'all got all this? Y'all got all this goddamn arguing and stuff. I don't like this. I don't like this, Gemini. Mm -mm. I can kind of relate though. So we got the five of swords. Yeah. This can also be, um, since this is clarifying the four of wands under the engagement card, I really need to find a way to for y'all to see my spread. Um Somebody, you, you might have people competing for you. You might have some people. Oh, yeah. We got the chariot. under. It might be a cancer. One of your options might be a cancer. And we got the ten of pentacles again, y'all. I knew we were going to see this again. I knew we were going to see this again. Yeah. Somebody sees you as, as the ultimate happiness. And look what flips over when I say that. Somebody sees you as the ultimate happiness. And look what flips over the nine of cups. You think this is a game? This ain't no game. <laughs> and the king of pentacles. So this is under the chemistry oracle. Um, the nine of cups and the king of pentacles. You definitely have some, possibly an earth sign. Did we see the king of pentacles earlier on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, I think we did. Um, you definitely have somebody around you that uh could possibly be an earth sign that sees you as a with wish fulfillment it doesn't have to be an earth sign you guys it don't have to be that um but this is someone that's stable even if they're not necessarily like quote unquote stable their their goal is to be stable their goal is to have a stable family foundation with you okay but you have to free yourself from whatever conflict this was. Whatever petty conflict. I'm going to clarify a little bit more on that. So there, clarify the five of wands. And this is my um, Light Sears deck. I'm going to use a whole nother deck for it to clarify this. So under the free yourself, I have the five of wands. So you guys need to free yourself from some type of conflict. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, so we got the high priestess here and we got the king of swords here. Yeah, you guys are going to have to free yourself from not using your intuition here. And this king of swords, it could be a person, you guys, but this is also this could also be something is going on here that you need to free yourself from. OK, but this can also be a person. OK, so it could be a fire or an air sign. Um, when I see King of Swords, this could be somebody that's manipulative. Um, they can also be very harsh in the way that they communicate. Uh, they could be, um, take it how it resonates, Gemini. They could be verbally abusive, um, especially with the five of wands here. So this, this might be something or someone that you need to let go of and energy you need to let go of. You might be attracting these types of people to you. Um, but with the high priestess here, you guys, I feel like a lot of you guys are coming to your senses with that. You really need to use your intuition when you're dealing with people. And I feel like a lot of you may not be using your intuition when you're getting involved with people. And then you're finding yourself in situations that you don't necessarily want to be in. Okay. Let's very clarify the engagement for Gemini's. To clarify the engagement for Gemini's. I like to use a different deck to get a different kind of energy. And if there's uh, the same card comes out more than once, which happens often. Um, Spirit, clarify. Okay, so we have. Yeah, okay, so clarifying the engagement, we have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like I said, you guys might have some people that will fight over you. You're going or you may have multiple love offers um, with this Ace of Cups here. And then this Four of Swords here. Yeah, I think a lot of you guys 
need to kind of get your mind together after whatever this conflict was you need to free yourself from. I feel like some of you guys may not have freed yourself from a past situation. Um, yeah, with this four of swords here. <sighs> I don't know. I want to. I want to pull a card for the four of swords here, because you have two four uh, un under engagement, which is building a solid foundation. So whatever happens or whoever it is, is they're going to provide you with something solid. Um, Spirit, clarify the four of swords. Spirit, clarify the four of swords under engagement. Clarify the four of swords under engagement. I also feel like you guys um, try not try not to work so hard when um, manifesting. Try not to work so hard when you're manifesting. I just saw the chariot on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone. So, wow, you guys, listen. Somebody is gonna be all in. See, with the chariot, the chariot can be either somebody, either you're all the way out. Or you all the way in. So if so, whoever this person is that's that comes up under the engagement card is someone that's all the way in. Like this person is gonna be so damn committed to you. It's it's like not even funny. You're not gonna be able to get rid of this person. But they do have the Knight of Pentacles here um, on the other side. So they might move very slow. Okay. This also could be somebody from your past, you guys. Um, yeah, the queen of pentacles. Yeah. So this is pretty much saying with the queen of pentacles, clarifying the four of swords, take your time, Gemini. Don't rush into anything. Take your time. Judgment on the bottom of the deck. Don't rush in, into anything because it's going to be worth it. Don't rush into any, uh, picking, don't rush into picking anyone or, uh, don't get desperate. Um, spirit, give me the energy for chemistry clarify chemistry no way y'all why is it why the ten of pentacles come out again why did i tell see this is why i like to use another deck y'all got the ten of pentacles from the other deck already on the table and y'all got the ten of pentacles again ten of pentacles twice and the king of pentacles listen this person might be slow as hell but they are worth it. They are going to be worth it. It's going to take this person a while to commit. Okay, I'm going to tell you this now, Gemini. It's going to take this person a while. For some of you, you might already be waiting for uh, this person to um, commit. Because with this free yourself over here and this five of wands, I feel like this is somebody a lot of you already know. Um, and... They may be freeing themselves of the conflict. So whoever this person is, they may want to come out. See, what, what kind of gives me the impression that it's someone you know is the justice card. Um, whoever this is, they want to bring some balance between you two. Because I feel like whoever this was caused a lot of drama that was completely unnecessary. And they're realizing it. So some of you guys might not be communicating with this person right now. Yeah. So when I say this, look what's on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> the six of swords. Some of you guys aren't communicating with this person. The four of pentacles. You're not talking to them right now. Okay. Um, because of the fight. And I think you guys had a fight during y'all's last uh, communication. But this person, and this could be a new person, Gemini, okay? Because this could also be you ridding yourself of this person completely. And you're having a whole nother energy, possibly an earth sign coming in to save the day, okay? But like I said, either way it goes, Gemini, this person is going to be slow and they're going to take their time, but it's, they're, they're going to be worth, they're going to be worth it, okay? Um... It might be somebody younger than you. Page of Swords. Yes. This is Gemini Energy. And the Page of Wands, you guys. Yeah, some of you guys might be dealing with somebody that's younger than you. Okay. 
let me grab some love messages. Let's see what comes out. Um, these are my own handwritten love messages I've been writing over the weeks. So please disregard any typos, not typos, but any mistakes because I was just legit jotting some stuff down until I had enough to actually use them during the readings. <laughs> So don't be in the comments talking about you spelled that wrong. Like, I know some stuff is misspelled because I was legit writing. Some of them I wrote these in the dark. Um, hey, when spirit takes over, you can't fight the feeling. You can't fight the feeling. But um, whoever this is, Gemini, um, they are worth the wait. Okay? I promise you. They are worth the wait. And they see you as the same. They see you as worth the wait as well. But I think this person wants to have, they, they want to have um, their finances at least kind of in order before they deal with you. Okay? Which, which, is, uh, which, is, which is good. Um, it says, I know I messed up everything. Yeah, I told you guys. I feel like this is someone um, that you know. This one says, I know you're my soulmate. Yeah. I feel like this is someone that you know. It didn't work out with. They know they messed up everything because they ass was full of drama. Petty, petty, petty. I think I feel like this person used to nitpick you a lot. Nitpick and nitpick and nitpick over any and everything. But now they're regretting doing that. They regret doing that. And they know they messed it up. They know they messed the relationship up because you more than likely walked away after this argument. And you felt like the argument wasn't worth everything they were doing. Like it wasn't worth everything that um, they were putting you through. Y'all. Y'all know. Y'all. Come on. Y'all y'all see me shuffling these, right? Why did I know you're my soulmate come out again? Oh gosh, spirit, spirit says when I when I tell you to read something, then that means that's what it is. That's pretty much what spirit is saying. Cause I read this on the bottom of the deck, and then I started shuffling, and then it came out again. Okay, I'm in my head over you twenty four seven. Oh yeah, absolutely. They think about you a lot, Gemini. That's the energy that I got, and this is kind of what I got too with this high priestess card. Look at her. She's in her head. He's this he or she is thinking about you constantly. I dream about you. <laughs> I don't know if the words are backwards on here. I'm gonna have to correct that if it is. Cause that that is a huge pet peeve of mine. But yes, uh Gemini, this person wants something solid with you. Definitely. And they will be coming back around, but they're gonna do it on their own time. And this person is extremely slow. Now, they are going to come back around and give you um, little conversation here and there. With this page of wands here and this page of swords here, they're going to come back around with a with little bit of... If, if you guys aren't communicating, they're going to come back around and get you back communicating. It's not going to be this huge offer right away because they want to um, get their lives together. I don't, I don't know how to fix this. Please tell me how. Yeah, I think that's what that, uh, do you ever think about me? <laughs> Gemini, didn't I say this person is, is always in their head? All right, Gemini, so that's y'all's reading. Hope it resonated with you. Um, it kind of resonated with me, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I always appreciate y'all watching. I'm a pre I appreciate y'all's comments. I appreciate y'all subscribes and all that. I'm forever grateful. I love you guys. Um, and yeah, let me know what's up. You guys can email me. Some of you guys have been emailing me. So I do get back to you as soon as I can. A lot of, more and more people are emailing me. So hey, I'm, I got y'all. I'm going to be back. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back to you. Don't even trip. Okay, so yeah, Gemini, until next time, peace out.